video has been approved by J and J Toy Giants and is rated A for awesome. May cause a good time, somewhat informative, and overall enjoyable for everyone. Hello, my name is JD. Magical nostalgia powers came to me one day when I created a YouTube channel for toys, unboxings, and Funkos. And one day, we decided that we were gonna be the J&J Toy Giants YouTube channel, me and my son, and we realized by the power of nostalgia and toys, of the JJ Toy Giants YouTube channel toy unboxing. I am your host JD and I got another fun fill packed episode for you guys today and thank you very much for those of you who are watching for the very first time. Welcome and uh, this is the portion of the JJ Toy Giants YouTube channel where we go over all types of toys and figures and collectibles and we unbox them. Thank you so very much for being here. So today Again, I'm going to be going over the Masters of the Universe line re-release, but today I'm going to be going over She-Ra and Merman, but that's not all. Prince Adam and the Sky Sled. Now, I also did a, a live unboxing of my Battle Cat. Be sure to check out the... Um, I believe it was under the Fig Cave, because there's there are a lot of groups that I am a part of that I do a lot of uh, live unboxings, but check out the Fig Cave. I did a live toy unboxing of Battle Cat, and you'll see that I actually got one of those earlier. And But today I'm going to be doing Prince Adam and the Sky Slid, as well as She-Ra and Merman. Now, I'm only missing uh, Panthor, which is Skeletor's uh, essentially Battle Cat. So those are the only ones that I know of that are like essentially vehicles or one, you know, animals that you can ride. So we're going to do like we always do. We're going to get a breed. All right. So I'm going to start this a little differently. I'm going to start with the big man pajama first. So this is Prince Adam with his sky sled. Um, a very well-known vehicle as far as like with uh, Masters of the Universe. And then, of course, there is the that little uh, mini tank that I believe uh, Man at Arms um, rides. I forget what the name is. It's been so long. But I mean, I mean, you couldn't really ask for more of an awesome vehicle. So this actually, this uh, sky sled, just to make it look like it's actually, you know, I'm gonna just raise this up a little bit. There we go. And so, just to kind of make it look like it's actually flying in the air a little bit, and it has this little thing like you normally see on a on a Funko Pop. Um, it does come with a an interchangeable like little chassis here i guess you could say with these little things here so if you want to make it look more badass you can and these actually uh interchange as well because it came with a different one kind of like uh almost kind of like a battle cat and um this kind of shows like it's it's like firing a missile and stuff like that so it's pretty cool um it, it really can't say much to to you know anything bad about this obviously the sticker is a little bit off center that came like that, so I'm not gonna mess around with it and you know put it on the right way. Um, naturally, you can probably go and online and find these pretty easily, and then just take this off and put it on correctly if you're um, a real like you know OCD person, which is fine. There are a lot of people that are like that. Me, I don't care um, as long as it's not damaged. Obviously, you know I'll just leave it at, as is. So this comes with Prince, Prince Adam, and it comes with his um, the sort of gray skull, but before before he actually turns into He-Man. So head sculpt is pretty cool. Um, body shape is pretty much the same. And um, I'm surprised they actually had him with like a little angry face. Normally they should have him smiling like he normally shows in the cartoon. Um, so I like it a lot. I, I kind of, like I said before, I passed on this so many times because you know, $25, it may not seem a lot to a lot of people, but you know, you gotta make sure that you are wise with your money. And I 
I thought that this would be something that would always be around because not a lot of people would be collecting it. I was actually presently surprised that that was the opposite. Not a lot of people were buying it and I saw it in, um, in Walmart. Strike that, reverse it. This way! All the time that I would go. I literally would get texts every time that my son and uh, my wife would go to Walmart, I would get a text, hey, it's still here, you wanna get it? Um, and I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'll pass. But I mean, this is pretty cool. I like it a lot. I never had this particular um, vehicle when I was a kid. Uh, I just had the the, Mad the Masters of the Universe figures, He-Man, Skeletor. Uh, I think I had Man at Arms and Beast Man, but nothing else. And then I had the Castle Grayskull. That's pretty much what I had. But I like it a lot. Um, I might, I'm not sure how I'm gonna display this because I have my Grayskull ring with my He-Man inside of it. So I might put either Prince Adam on top of Battle Cat um, or not, I'm not sure. But it's a pretty cool piece. I'm glad that I have it in my collection. So let's go to the next one. All right, so we're gonna go over now Princess Adora, better known as um, She-Ra. And I was able to get this from a buddy of mine. He was actually good looking out, my co-host of the Sean, Matt, and JD's of the World podcast. Uh, be sure to check that out. If you're into pop culture, I'll leave a link in the description of the video. But uh, I'm very happy to have this. Um, I don't remember this being exactly like it was when it first came out in the 80s, but it's pretty darn close. So this is the uh, comic that it came with, uh, Dimensional Doom. But I like the actual um, style of it. The, the sword, actually, I don't believe the sword looks exactly like the box. I have to double check that because it does look a little different on the box than it does the way it looks now. And the soft goods are pretty good. I, I was very careful in opening this up so I didn't tear it. The, the head, you can actually take this little headdress thing off, which, um, doesn't look like it does in the comic or the cartoon I should say that I know for sure um, it's a little thinner um, more kind of like the Wanda the Scarlet Witch kind of headdress kind of thing that if you can see that that's how it would be how close it would be to her head but uh, it does come with um, her sword her shield that's it nothing else no additional weapons or anything like that um, she normally I know with uh, He-Man he has the battle cat um, and or Cringer when he's not Battle Cat with, I forget the name of the the actual animal that she, she rides a, like a Pegasus type character where, you know, it's a horse with wings. I forget what the name was, but um, I like it. I'm good. It's nice to have this added to my collection. Not too much you can say about it. Only, the, like I said, the, the headdress is a little bit too big. It's not really that big in the comics or in the, the cartoon. But, um, and of course on the box, it actually, the sword doesn't show, the sword is not what you see here. Yes, I nope. am. Wrong. That, it shows a little different. But um, yeah, I like it a lot. Um, it's not too much you can say. It's very, it's a lot tinier than, you know, about the size of Tila. And there's not too many women characters. Obviously, I'm not sure why they didn't um, make, they re-released the Sorceress. Uh, they may very well do that in the next wave. I'm not sure, but um, that would be the only other female character. There's, there's Evelyn, there's Tila, and then she -Rose actually was part of like a different series. It was like a spinoff, but there aren't that many female characters in He-Man. But uh, it's not, she's obviously, you know, a good character to have out of the Masters of the Universe series. So let's go to the next one. All right, so this is gonna be all the part of the video. This is Merman, one of Skeletor's henchmen. What can't you say? Um, he's pretty self-explanatory. He looks just like a little merman. Comes with a little like dagger slash sword that looks like something out of the ocean. Um, they, in the eighties, they tried to keep it as simple as possible. They didn't really, now, a lot of times when you do a series or a toy line, they have a lot more to them. It's the, you know, everything used to end with man, he-man, merman, beast-man, um, 
man at arms um, and stuff like that. So they tried to keep everything close, like just close to the the niche of what they were doing as far as like what the character was. Um, so like Beast Man is a beast that happens to be a man and Merman was a mermaid man, but it's an evil mermaid man kind of thing. Um, from what I remember, I didn't have this, this figure when I was a kid, but it's pretty close to what I remember it from being from looking at old photos and stuff like that. He comes with this little um, accessory on, you know, where he can, it's like a little battle armor. So you can remove that um, webbed feet and they, the muscles and everything like that are pretty much the same, just like you see in any of these uh, figures. And of course with the masters of the WWE universe, they keep them the same scale as well. Um, I don't remember any specific vehicles that they used to have. I know um, Panthor, is what Skeletor used to ride, but I don't remember any other vehicles that they had for the evil guys. Um, and there were, there were, I, I only saw like maybe the first few seasons of Masters of the Universe when they kind of like started to die down a little bit in the late 80s. Um, I was kind of like, you know, getting into other things or other but I was still a big fan. Excuse me? Nobody cares! Nobody cares. So I like uh, to have a lot of even, you know, good guys, bad guys type thing. And I think I have a little bit more bad guys than I do good guys. But I'm sure that those, um, they will come up more good guys as well. But, uh, and I'm, I'm still missing Orko. Um, Orko is actually part of Wave 2. And... There were other ones. I forget the the little um, like the little the little like uh, dwarf kind of guy. He was kind of like a jumper. Um, and um, there was Roboto, and I, that those were kind of like those escaped me. I don't remember those guys when I was a kid, but I, you know, I've seen of them. I've seen them in the toy stores and stuff like that. But with uh, Merman, I definitely remember him. He was one of his main henchmen along with uh, Trapjaw and Beastman. Those are the three stooges, essentially. They're always uh, causing Skeletor a lot of headaches because they always fail to capture He-Man and the, the Sword of Grayskull so he can get into the Castle Grayskull. But yeah, I like it. All right, so let's go to the next one. That's it for this edition of the JJ Toy Giants YouTube channel, Toy Unboxing. Again, I am your host, JD. Be sure to like and subscribe, and also comment in any of our video submissions on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And also, you can check us out on TikTok. Uh, we try to do a lot of TikToks to make everybody laugh. Thank you so very much for your support. We are currently at 103 subscribers. Jaden and I are so special, or feel really special for you guys, um, you know, supporting the channel. We're going to try to hit 200 uh, as the, the months go by and probably be end of the year. We're hopefully we'll be able to hit 200. But uh, thank you so very much. Be safe, you guys, and keep on cruising.